Hi all, it's Dr. Gamaro here. Uh, I'm understanding that most of you, if not all of you, have received the box of bones, and I wanted to unpackage the box of bones because the contents in here, uh, there will be some things we will be using, and there will be some things that we won't be using. And I just want to explain to you what's in there so you know um, how to deal with it. So this is our box of bones. Uh, let's uh, unpackage this like you would watch on YouTube, unpackaging the first time you're seeing an iPhone phone. So uh, let me uh, show you what's going on here. Um, we got okay so in here you're gonna see everything I'll show you a picture of that first off there's gonna be a poster in here this poster is something you could use you have to return it um, what it is is a visual of the skeleton. All right, so you'll see that. This may help you. This is showing you all the different uh, bones and the different parts of the bones, and there's many bone parts of the bones that we'll be dealing with. But you could actually utilize that to help you along with your studies. Okay? But yes, you do have to return that too. All right? Um, let's put this back on. The next thing you're going to see right on the top usually is going to be the anterior portion of the rib cage. So this is going to be your um, breastplate. Uh, so you'll see you'll have the sternum over here. And then these are not the ribs, these are what we, this is the, the cartilage that, that's actually uh, connecting the sternum, the chest plate here, with the ribs. But it's all in one piece, that you'll use also. So you're going to need that. Okay. You'll also see a box in here. That's this here. What could this be? Well, this is going to be your skull. Not your skull, but let me show you. Okay, so just open up the box, and in here you will have the skull. Okay, all in packaging bubbles. Okay, um, just want to say this is actually in three parts. The jaw is actually attached to the skull um, by way of, if you look underneath, when I don't want to take it out of the bag, but there'll be a spring there. Um, in your studies, you'll want to perhaps take that, that jaw off, the mandible, uh, and it's easy to do. There's a little hook that's on the, from the spring, and you'll take it off the screw, all right, if you want to do that to get up. You may or may not want to do that. You don't need to, but sometimes to look underneath or the inferior portion of the skull, it helps a little bit, okay? So you take the, the mandible, that comes in one piece, and then the next part is the, the major part of the skull, which includes the, uh, the nasal area and the two eye sockets and the upper jaw. Um, that is, um, that's one piece. And then the last piece that's going to come off is going to be the skull cap. And I believe this is uh, actually put together with magnets. So you could take that off, and it allows you to see in the, uh, at the base of the skull while inside the skull, because you're going to need to know parts of the skull. There's about 35 or so parts that you're going to need to know about the skull, and the skull is actually made up of many different bones, and you'll learn all those as the, uh, as the days progress. So, yes, you're going to need to uh, open up that box within the box, so to say, because that's where the skull is. Okay? Um, and then you're going to find what's left in the box, uh, many bags of bones. Okay? There is going to be one big bag. That's this one here. Whoop, one fell. So this is going to be definitely one you're going to need to know. Um, this has all the long bones and some other bones in here too. Uh, basically, these are the bones that are going to be the, of your limbs, your arms and the legs. Uh, there is one hand here and there's one foot in here, uh, but you'll see both the uh, legs and the arms will be in there. Uh, 
so that's definitely you're going to need to to uh, to keep and open. Then there's another bag of bones, pretty big bag, not as big as the other one, but these are going to be your vertebrae, and there's 24 vertebrae in here, um, and I'll show you a picture of it too. This, um, this is another uh, bag of bones you are going to need to, to open up, okay? So there's 24 in here, so make sure you count them, but there's 24 in here, or there should be. And then you have a few other ones. There's another smaller bag of bones, and this one is, you have to take a look at um, before you open it, just so you can see that it's the right bag. There's going to be two smaller long bones. These are your clavicles, the collarbone that's over here. You'll see them in there, but you'll also see, I guess the thing that's going to stand out a little bit more, there's a bone that is shaped like a U, okay? It's shaped like a U. Um, just fiddle with it, you'll see it. Shaped like a U, that's what we call the hyoid, and that's actually found in her throat to help with swallowing and talking. So there's that in there, you got the two long uh, shorter long bones, which are the clavicles. And then you're going to see two flattened round bones. Those are what we call the patellae, which is going to be your kneecaps. So you have two of those. And then the last bone that's in there looks like, uh, I guess it looks like a letter T or almost a triangle. That's a coccyx bone, and that's going to be your tailbone. So there's six bones in here. Two clavicles, which are the longer bones. Two flattened circle bones, those are your patella or your, your, your kneecaps. And then there's also going to be two odd bones. One is a U shape, which is the hyoid, and then one is like a T or a tri triangular shape, and that's going to be the coxal bone, the, the tailbone. So that you're going to need to do, okay? That you're going to open. So that's pretty much it. There's going to be another five bags in here, okay? There's two in here that are going to be completely the same. These are going to be your ribs. There's 12 in here, and there's 12 in here. You don't really need to open up all these. Um, you may want to get one rib out. So what I would suggest to do is make a small opening or use one of the ribs and pierce a hole in the bag just to get that one rib out. You're not going to need to know each one of the ribs, but you might need to know what one rib looks like, okay? Uh, it doesn't matter which one, just pick one of the long ones um, and you can just do that. Other than that, you're going to want to leave the, the other uh, ribs in these bones, okay? or in these bags, okay? Then we also have another bag that is, um, well, they're not white like the rest of the bones. They're flattened discs, and that's just what they are. These are the intervertebral discs. If you feel them, you can bend them because they're rubbery. And they're actually strung together with, uh, I guess, fishing wire. Um, but we are not going to use these. There's no reason to open up this bag. Okay, um, these are the uh, discs that are found in between the vertebrae of your um, spinal, um, your vertebral column. So there's that you don't have to worry about. And then lastly, there's two small bags of many different bones, many smaller bones. Okay, one of them is, well, what it is, is um, they are actually all the bones that are in your hand. and all the bones that are in your foot. You do need to know the bones of the foot and the bones of the hand, but I'm not going to give you a bone, um, one of the little bones that's in the fingers. I'd rather you just understand how the bones are all put together. So there is, in the big bag of bones that I showed earlier, 
There's a foot that's all put together there, and there's also going to be a hand that's all put together there. It doesn't matter if it's the right or left. Okay? So what the box of bones has given you in terms of hands and bones is that they gave you one hand that's all put together and one hand that is all broken apart. You don't need to worry about the ones that are all broken apart. You also have one foot that's all put together, and then there's one foot that is all broken apart or disarticulated. You don't have to worry about the disarticulated or broken apart one. So just want to reiterate now what we have in here. There's there's one, two, three. There's five bags. One, two. There's five things you have to open. And then there's five bags you don't open. So here again are the five bags or the five things that you would open. The skull box. Open that. The big bag of long bones that includes an articulated or put together hand and foot. Open that. The bag of vertebrae. 24 vertebrae are in here. You'll see them. They're small. They go, you know, in the back. Open that. You also have the front part of the rib cage, which includes the sternum, which is the chest plate, and the cartilages, which are this clear plastic stuff. Um, so you could take that out of the bubble wrap. Open that. And then the only one that you might have problems looking, you have to look at it uh, carefully, is the small bag of bones that, are, that have six bones in it, including two clavicles, the long, short bones. I wouldn't call them short, but they're the, the long bones. Two flattened kneecaps, the round, flattened bones. A one bone that is like a U shape, the hyoid and one that looks like a letter T or a triangle, that's the coccyx bone, that's, so that bag, yes, open. So there's five bags, or five, the one box, which is the skull, and then four bags. The bags do not open is the ones with the curved ribs, except maybe open up or just have one rib come out of that, that's fine. The intervertebral discs that are rubbery, don't open that. There's no reason to open that, okay? And then the broken up hand, which are, just looks like a small bag of bones, and then the broken up foot, which is also a small bag of bones, a little bit bigger than the fingers, because there's they also put the ankle bones in there too. These do not open up. So there's really five things to open and five things not to open, with the exception of taking one rib out. Okay? So that's pretty much what you would see in your um, your bone, bone box of bones, okay? So that's what I want you to open. That's what you don't want to open. And I would, like, there's a lot of loose bones in there, like the vertebrae and stuff. I would put them back in the bag when you're not using them, okay? Um, and keep in mind, a lot of this stuff is little. So be careful if you actually have uh, little ones, little uh, children in the household because they can take some of these and unfortunately they are very curious and they put them in their mouth and we have uh, unexpected problems. So please, you know, uh, try and be responsible for these bones um, The uh, and, and make sure you don't lose them. Some of them could fall down and go underneath the sofa and you have to go search for them. So try and keep them in a, a located place that you know you're going to be able to collect them all. So uh, that's a little bit I just want to introduce you to that. It's pretty easy to do. Five things you can open, five things do not open. Okay? All right, we'll see you in class.